Good morning. I'm so glad you've joined me for this wake up and warm up five minute movement. This is really designed just to help us kind of move our body a little bit, check in from how we feel this morning versus how we may feel from yesterday or last night. I know sometimes we wake up and feel a little tweak or if we've slept on something funny. And really it's just to kind of check in with our bodies and um, see where we're ready to take it today. So I'm glad you're here. Let's go ahead and get started. Go ahead and come to your hands and knees. And by the way, we will be on our hands and knees a lot for the next five minutes. So either find a carpeted area, um, maybe a mat, anything by the, and also by the way, I hope you're in your pajamas. Like I hope you've just like rolled out of the rack and you're doing this with me. I thought about wearing my pajamas, but then I thought that might be a little weird. So here I am ready for my day. But anyway, let's go ahead and get going. Okay, down on your hands and knees, take your shoulders and pull them back and then inhale while you look up, arch your, arch your back down and exhale and arch your back up. Inhaling, opening up those lungs, filling them with the air of the new day. And what I like to do is I like to go through and really arch up my lower back. And then the next time I'll do my upper back or my middle back, excuse me. And then my upper back, just to see what needs a little bit more attention, what might need uh, one more. So I'm going to focus on my lower back. That's kind of where I've been feeling some tightness lately. Come back to your hands and knees, push your shoulders back. Take your left hand above your right hand and then take your left hip away from your left hand. So you're kind of making a diagonal. This is great, come up, let's do the other side. This is so great for um, your lats. We're stretching all in here. We're getting our arms a little bit. And if you want, you can arch your back as you take it back and feel a little bit more in your lower back. So that's something you can always do as well. Okay, back to your hands and knees. Take your right hand above your ear, opening up. So we're not going to have it here. And then shift up, taking your heart to the sky and then back down underneath your armpit and inhaling, taking it up. This is a great stretch for the back for your spine and one more here can you go a little bit further every time you don't have to push it we're not pushing it here but it's nice to get that flexibility in all right inhale and exhale you may notice that like me you have more flexibility on one side than the other and this can change from day to day. Today I have more flexibility on my right side. I'm having a harder time getting that up. Okay, come back to that kneeling position. Curl your toes under, lift your hips up in the air. You might need to keep those knees slightly bent, especially if it's first thing in the morning, and very gently bicycle out those legs. Bend one knee, straighten the other, just kind of pressing that heel down, but very gently. We are here to be gentle with ourselves this morning. If you want to go something crazy later, go for it. All right, now press both heels back down. Now take your right foot to the outside of your right hand. You can absolutely drop your knee down to the ground if your body's not quite ready to go all the way up. Then take your right hand up and down. And then do your left hand. Oh, you're going to have less flexibility going that way. <laughs> Probably. All right, now take that back to a down dog, pressing your heels down. And let's do the other side. Left side, left foot. I'm going to go down to my knee for this one. And let's take your left hand up and down. If you want a little extra, you can squeeze your right glute up and down. All right, let's do that one more time on each side. Every time you go back, you can press your heels down a little bit more and lifting up your, rib, your um, tailbone for a deeper stretch in your hamstrings. Okay, now I'm gonna be ready to lift up that leg, that back leg. Up. Now this is the great thing about mobility type movements, is you have 
the freedom to focus more on how you feel than your form. So when you're in the gym, I absolutely want you having good form. But with this, you can move your body and see how it feels and adjust to that. Okay, come down to your hands and knees, walk your hands up to your knees, rolling it back. Now let's take your left foot in a 90 degree angle, bring your right arms right in front of you, and shift forward as you bring your hands up and as you squeeze your right glute. You're gonna feel a nice stretch in your hip flexors. Now take your hands back down to center, press those shoulders down, and then take your right hand away from your left, back behind you, Follow your hand and bring it in and then come back up. Let's do that again. Leaning forward, arms up and center and open and close. And now let's add on shifting your hips back.